Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. My name is Tunku Nasri Labaida. So I will be presenting my extended abstract entitled Hierarchy in Malaysian Politics, a source of Prime Minister's domination. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my co-author, my supervisor, uh, Professor Dato Dr. Muhammad Agus Yusuf for his encouragement and support in completing this extended abstract and also this uh, whole research. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the outline of my presentation today. First of all, I will introduce you to the extended abstract. Second, we're going to move on to the methodology part uh, where I'm going to explain to you the methodology used in completing this research and extended abstract. Uh, third is the most important part of this uh, extended abstract, the result and discussion. Uh, three important points will be discussed in this part. First is the hierarchy in the political party. Second, the hierarchy in the executive body. And the last one is the asymmetrical power model. So this model is used to explain the nature of imbalances of power that, that exist in the political system in Malaysia that has given the inherent advantage to the prime minister. And the last part is the conclusion of the extended abstract. Ladies and gentlemen, I will start the presentation uh, by pointing out that uh, the discussion on the Prime Minister's power in Malaysia is often regarded as a half-baked political analysis. Well, this is because it is not rooted in any theoretical explanation underpinning the Malaysian politic. Uh, thus, it has failed to give the whole picture, uh, the reality on what is going on with the power of the Prime Minister. Therefore, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, this article argues that the institutional design in Malaysian political system has created the asymmetrical power, uh, which eventually resulted in the Prime Minister's uh, domination. Uh, well, the basis of this argument is rooted in the asymmetrical power model, which put emphasis on the executive domination in the political system. Uh, and due to this uh, domination, despite the change of the Prime Minister, uh, the, domi the dominance of the Prime Minister prevails as the imbalance of power gives uh, them an inherent advantage. Uh, this article uh, proposes uh, the asymmetrical power model as the organizing perspective and rejects the notion of the autocratic uh, Prime Minister. Uh, in Malaysia. It argues that the position has made the Prime Minister dominant due to the asymmetrical power embedded in the political system. Under the pretext of this model lies the element of the political tradition which was practiced extensively, uh, thus making a Prime Minister a dominant political player. Uh, this article uh, discusses uh, the political tradition as uh, of hierarchy in the political system, uh, which is practiced extensively, especially during the during the time of Barisan National under the premiership of Abdullah Ahmad Badawi and uh, Najib Razak. As a result of this uh, hierarchical practice, the cabinet minister do not dare to uh, to question the prime minister if uh, and if the uh, if the prime minister commit an offence or any wrong uh, any wrongdoings uh, uh, of the prime minister. Okay, uh, thus it has created a, a blind loyalty uh, to the prime minister. And this article aims to address the simple question of why the Prime Minister uh, became dominant. And the answer to the question is uh, the practice of the hierarchy in the Malaysian politics, which has created the imbalances of power, which has given the Prime Minister the inherent advantage, thus dominating uh, the political process in Malaysia. Uh, for the research methodology, this article is a qualitative research in nature. Uh, therefore, the qualitative method is used in completing this research. Uh, the method uh, was chosen because uh, it is the uh, exploratory in nature uh, that allows the phenomena to be understood in, 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 in more depth. Uh, therefore, in terms of the data collection method, uh, the interview method uh, were used. Uh, so the interview method is seen as the only way to get the information directly from the uh, informant uh, about the subject uh, to be studied. So in this case, the Prime Minister's power. Uh, 
So in choosing the informant, uh, they are consisted of the cabinet minister or the former cabinet minister, uh, the government and also the opposition parliamentarian as well as the politician who were active during the time of Abdullah Hamad Badawi and uh, Najib Razak. These are among the respondents uh, interviewed in completing this research. Uh, Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, the position leader, uh, Datuk Sri Ismail Sabri Yaakob, uh, the Prime Minister, Datuk Sri uh, Mustafa Muhammad and, and also Datuk Sri Mahazir Khalid. So this is the finding part of this uh, standard abstract. Uh, the first one we are going to discuss the hierarchy in the political party. Uh, uh, in most of the political party in Malaysia, especially in AMNO. Uh, the position of the party leader is highly respected and thus cannot be challenged. Uh, this can be seen uh, clearly, especially during uh, Mahadir's uh, time as the party leader. Okay. Uh, repercussion to challenges is the consequences if he was uh, challenged. Well, this can be seen uh, in the numbers of time uh, during the Mahadir's uh, leadership. Uh, under the Najib Premiership uh, or the Najib leadership, uh, the same practice is undertaken. Uh, this can be clearly seen in the 1MDB scandal where a few senior uh, party leaders uh, was sacked after questioning his involvement in 1MDB scandal. Uh, Najib was then backed by the party members and the other uh, senior members, senior leader of, 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 of the AMNO. Uh, well, one of the things that we... we, 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 we we, we can clearly see is that uh, the status as the party leader has given uh, Najib uh, inherent uh, advantage even though uh, at that particular time uh, this, this issue was a really serious issue in the Malaysian politics and some of the UMNO leaders uh, doubt uh, uh, the Najib uh, leadership uh, but they do not dare to question uh, some of them who dare to question Najib, uh, you know, they have to face these uh, consequences. Uh, senior party leader like uh, Kedah Menteri Besar, uh, Mukris Mahadir, you know, was was among the uh, was among the uh, was among the victim of this practice in Amno. Uh, during Abdullah time as the party leader. Uh, his weaknesses in leading the party during the uh, 12th general election, uh, however, did not cause him to be directly opposed by the party members. However, it was Mahadir, uh, the former party leader, uh, that forced uh, Abdullah to resign. Uh, Mahadir was then backed by the uh, because of his uh, status as the former leader and, of course, he is still an influential figure in AMNO, uh, he was then backed by several uh, key leaders in AMNO like uh, Muhyiddin Yassin. Okay? Uh, so, the status and, 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 and the position as the party leader has given uh, the prime minister inherent advantage uh, so that the uh, the followers, uh, the members would not dare to question them. Uh, based on the interview, uh, for example, uh, Datuk Sri, uh, from Datuk Sri Anwar, uh, from the interview with Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, uh, he did mention that the feudal system in the political party, especially in AMNO, has given the president the final say, and this has resulted in the domination of the prime minister. Uh, and this also does not create a mature politic in Malaysia uh, because, you know, the followers would not dare to question uh, the wrongdoing of the party leader. Uh, so, this is one of the findings of this uh, standard abstract. The second finding is the hierarchy in the executive body. So the hierarchy in the executive body has also given the inherent advantage uh, uh, to the Prime Minister uh, to maintain his dominance in the political system. Uh, in the executive body, the cabinet ministers uh, were seen as not having the courage uh, to speak out, uh, uh, to rebuke the Prime Minister's misconduct. Okay? Uh, this situation is seen... Uh, 
because of the position as the Prime Minister, as the head of the government, is so respected uh, by the cabinet members. So the cabinet members are indebted uh, to being elected by the Prime Minister to be part of the government and the act of questioning the Prime Minister could cause them to lose their position uh, in the cabinet. Well, the action of uh, Abdullah Hamad Badawi, uh, for example, who, who, who held the position as the Finance Minister when he was the Prime Minister had, had, had caused the uh, public displeasure. Uh, However, when being asked, uh, uh, being asked about 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 this matter, uh, one of the respondent did respond that he do not personally condone uh, the practice of prime minister holding the other major portfolio like finance. And then, when being asked again, when you were the prime, when you were the minister, the prime, your prime minister, uh, uh, you know, did practice this. Uh, uh, well, the. Uh, the respondent then uh, uh, responded that uh, he he just uh, kept it silent uh, when the when 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 his uh, superior, the prime minister, did that uh, because you know uh, uh, according to this respondent, uh, even though he personally do not condone this practice, uh, but because the prime minister or his superior did this. Uh, you know, uh, he had no courage uh, to speak out and just follow whatever, what, 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 whatever the practice uh, uh, that, 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 that been practiced by the Prime Minister. And he, he added that uh, he, he's sure that uh, the Prime Minister knows what's the best uh, for the country and he also sure that, that this practice will ease uh, the administration. Uh, during the Najib Razak time, uh, you know the 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 instruction uh, given uh, by the prime minister is 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 considered as the directive. Uh, the cabinet members, whether they like it or not, they they do not have any choice but just to to do whatever has been instructed by the prime minister. Uh, this is the was the uh, practice uh, under the Najib Razak premiership. Uh, according to uh, Datuk Sri Mahathir uh, Khalid, you know, uh, most of the cabinet members, they respect the Prime Minister. Uh, first, because of their background, most of the Prime Minister that, 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 that we had, so most of them are from the arisk, uh, arisk, uh, aristocratic background. Uh, they are well-connected people and they have all this influence okay and this influence had caused uh, these cabinet members to submit to the dominance of the uh, prime minister uh, since they really respect this uh, the prime minister uh, any instruction uh, given uh, meant to be obeyed and no further question asked and they will just do whatever has been uh, instructed to them by the prime minister so this sh clearly shows that uh, the position of the as the prime minister has given them advantage uh, not just to dominate the political process but to dominate this executive body uh, to instruct them to do uh, whatever uh, that the prime ministers want so these are the result of the uh, practice of hierarchy in the political system uh, the first it has created the blind obedience uh, to the prime minister uh, this is because uh, the minister prefer to remain silent for fear of losing their cabinet uh, position. And the third one, the obedient show will result in, in them being rewarded by the prime minister like the uh, position uh, in the government. So this is the last part of this uh, standard abstract, uh, the theoretical framework. Uh, for the purpose of this abstract, uh, this, 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 this article used the asymmetrical power model. So asymmetrical power model is one of the organizing perspective used in the political analysis. And this model is the complement to the Westminster model, which, uh, which considered uh, not to be reflected uh, the realistic political practice. Uh, one of the most, uh, the argument of this uh, model is that the imbalances of power or the asymmetrical of power does exist in the political system and thus giving 
the executive the inherent advantage uh, for the purpose of this uh, research this article argue that the executive body uh, in, in this particular case is the prime minister and this imbalance of power has created or has given uh, the advantage uh, to the prime minister and one of the reason why this uh, uh, imbalance of power exists uh, is because of the uh, political tradition that exists in, 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 in one political system. Uh, for, for the purpose of this research, uh, this article looks at the tradition of the, of the hierarchy that has been practiced in the Malaysian political system. The hierarchical political system is part of the political tradition that exists in Malaysia. Uh, combined with the feudal practices, it has resulted in the obedience to the leaders starting at the grassroots level um, up to the level of the political elite in the country. And this tradition has been, hold chief, has been held chiefly uh, by the political uh, elite as it enables them to, uh, to maintain uh, their power. And this can be also used by them to strengthen their position. As a conclusion, this article has shown that uh, uh, how the political tradition in Malaysia had caused the power of the Prime Minister left unchecked, especially by the executive, and thus creating the dominance of the Prime Minister in the, uh, in the country's political system. And this practice has succeeded in maintaining the power and the dominance of the Prime Minister in Malaysia in Malaysian politics as well as has created the imbalances of power in the political system as it gave an inherent advantage uh, to the Prime Minister. Well, with that conclusion remarks the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time spent. I would also like to take this opportunity to, to thank my second supervisor, Dr. Muhammad Nazri, and also my fellow friends under the supervision of uh, Professor Dato Dr. Muhammad Agus Yusof, uh, Ms. Jan, uh, Ms., uh, Mr. Izzuddin, uh, Mr. Fairuz, uh, Mr. Aziadi, Aziadi, and Mr. Zam of Indonesia uh, for your support and encouragement. And also this research would not have been possible without the financial assistance, the research grant from the University Kebangsaan Malaysia. So with that, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.